Alright guys, clearly I have missed my old intro, so I'm bringing it back for you guys today. And by the title, you guys already know what we're making, lentil pea soup, so let's get right into it. So I already have some lentil peas in the pot boiling away, and you want to let it boil for a couple minutes, and you want your lentils to start to burst like it is right here. So once you see your lentils start to split like that, you want to go ahead and add your meat. I'm using turkey, so I'm adding it a little earlier. If you're using something like chicken, I would advise you to let your peas um, go for a little longer before you add your meat. But I'm using turkey, and to me, turkey meat um, takes longer to cook than chicken. Um, so you want to make sure you have your meat seasoned, of course, on the side. When you're making your soup, you make sure you season your meat. And then you want to add all of that juice, seasoning juice, as I call it, in there. And you don't want to waste anything. Wash off the bowl in there. Get all that seasonings and stuff in there. And I use onions, garlic, cloves, you know, uh, thyme, the whole nine yards, peppers, in there so i'm going to give it a mix and i'm going to cover it and let it go for about maybe 20 minutes all right so now it's time to get ready to prep the ingredients for our soup you could use whatever you like but i'm using potatoes we call it irish potato and i'm using white yam and carrots but as i said whatever you like in your soup go ahead and add it so I'm just going to go ahead and peel it and I'm just showing you guys literally how I cook when I'm in the kitchen by myself, not recording or paying attention to anything. This is what I do. I cut my vegetables with my hands. My hands be my cutting board. And if you're Caribbean, you know this is what we do. And we don't cut our hands, but this is what we do. But if you scare that you cut your hands, use a cutting board to cut up your vegetables. But yeah, this is what I'm doing. I'm just showing you guys how I do it. Alright, so now we're just gonna rinse everything off and fill it of water because you don't want it to get black. You don't want your um, vegetables to start to get brown. So you want to fill the bowl up of water and just leave it in there until you're ready for it. Alright, so here I have me a cassava or manioc as we call it in Grenada. This is how I know my grandmother used to call it. Um, so we're gonna make some dumplings with this. If you've seen my Kalalu soup video, you also saw me make my dumplings with this. So you just wanna go ahead and cut it in half and peel it. And it's pretty easy to peel. Just wanna cut the ends off and stick your knife in and you could basically lift the skin up with the knife because the skin is pretty thick. See, I'm kind of wiggling the knife through. Makes it easy to kind of lift the skin up. It's really easy to peel. Alright, so just go ahead and peel it and then you're going to get your grater and we're going to be using the finest side of the grater to grate your cassava, right? So you see that side right there, the finest side. 
This is the side that you're going to grade your cassava on. And this is the texture right here. It's going to be wet and mushy. And this is what you want. And to your cassava, you want to go ahead and add some flour. And you guys, I really do not measure because this really depends on your size of cassava that you use. How much dumplings you actually intend to make, how big your pot is. It depends on so much things. Um, so you just want to add flour and use your hands and sort of feel it through. And I'm going to add some salt in there and i'm using my hands to just combine everything together and you guys if you want to know if your dumplings are fine you could always just pinch a little bit of the flour mixture and taste it at the tip of your tongue and just see how salty it is you just want to get a little hint of salt and then that should be fine this is how i make my dumplings As you go along, you gradually add your water and you use your hands to combine everything together until you form a nice little ball. You don't want to add too much water because you don't want your dumplings to be too soft. Alright, so let's set the flour aside. Let's check on our pot which has been bubbling away for 20 minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and add me one pack of Maggie soup flavoring. And this is going to make your soup taste so good as well as one chicken bouillon cube. You could add a veg cube, whichever. And I'm just going to give that a stir. And then you want to go ahead and build up your pot with your carrots and yam and potatoes and whatever else that you decide that you want to add in your soup and like everything else when you're cooking make sure you taste for salt okay the chicken bouillon cube and the maggie packet both contain sodium so i didn't need to add more salt but make sure that you taste for salt because you don't want to con the soup you didn't want to con your soup right give that a good stir let it simmer for about five minutes or so and then we're going to go ahead and add the dumplings the dumplings always go in last for me right and i'm just going to roll them into some nice little pigtails just going to pinch a small piece of flour like you see here and i'm going to paste it in the middle of my palm and just roll it together like so simple and easy this is how I make my dumplings for my soup. So let that bubble for about 10 15 more minutes and your dumplings is done your soup is done and you go ahead and serve yourself up some soup y'all i couldn't wait i was hungry and it was time to eat so here's me serving up my soup and i don't know what y'all but lentils is one of my favorite soups ever in this world Love me some lentil soup.
let me know in the comments you guys what is your favorite soup i would really love to know and as always i'll see you lovely people in my next one later